Hey everybody, it's Julie Elliott here. Welcome. It's Friday. I bet you everybody's looking forward to the weekend. And um, yeah, it's getting getting down there into January. It's hard to believe that this month is going by very, very fast. And um, really makes you think about, you know, okay, what did I set back a few weeks ago when, on January 1st? And where am I at with my goals? And I just wanted to share um, a few books, actually. Uh, the message that I had sent out yesterday is really surrounding yourself with positive messages and staying away from the news and the media and other people that may be, you know, negative or not very positive or supportive in your life. You know, you want to try and eliminate some of that and and, um, and find those key people who are going to be supportive and positive and uh, build you up, you know, and help you towards whatever your goals and dreams are. Um, so some of the books that um, I wanted to quickly share with you that have made an impact on my life and has changed me in some way and helped me along my journey and the business that I'm currently doing now. And um, totally excited. And, you know, it's been a great week for making videos. And, you know, if you are interested, please send me a message and I can help you out too. I mean, anyone can do this. Stay. We have some stay-at-home moms. We've got you know, lawyers and doctors that have dropped everything to do this because they, you know, they really want to make a difference in, in the in the world and, and know sometimes um, just by motivating and, and educating people in different ways helps people make better decisions. So anyway, enough on that. What I wanted to share with you was Robin Sharma. And as most of you know, um, he's been one of Ed and I's big mentors, my husband, and he has an amazing book. I don't know if he looks like it's coming up backwards. I'm not sure. Um, it's called The Leader Who Had No Title. He has a series of books, and it's actually called um, The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari. There's the, the basic one, the leadership one, the family one. Any of those videos, or sorry, books, you want to grab a hold of, and that's Robin Sharma, a key thing. And I'll link below here um, to quickly to Amazon if you um, are looking into buying any of these books. Another book that has really helped me think of it differently on top of some of the other stuff like Access and the Bars that I've mentioned um, that's helped is this book, The Power of Your Subconscious Mind. And this is by Joseph Murphy. He's a, a doctor and um, it really gets you to think about how your subconscious mind sometimes gets programmed, you know, your entire life as a child, you know, you're told, no, you can't do this, you can't do that. In school, you got counselors saying you can't do this, you can't do that. But it really helps you to, to tack into those things that you really are good at, that you're passionate about, you're excited about doing, that sometimes the world does not acknowledge. They think, well, because I didn't do good in this or that at school, I can never accomplish those things. And a lot of people drop their dreams. They drop those things that they're excited about because of that. And this really helps you get rid of that junk and reprogram your brain and get it moving. Another one big for fitness, Body for Life by Bill Phillips. Huge, um, uplifting, very powerful workout, great eating tool. I'm now back at that again. My husband and I did that before um, we got married, actually, before I had my daughter. I lost like 30 pounds and like toned up. It was really, really great. And of course, we let life take over and da -da -da -da, weights back up, but that's okay. I'm on that journey now of doing it again and 10 times harder, let me tell you. And another one that I really, really love in a series is Louise Hay. And if you're on Facebook, you're probably very familiar, or you too. She has a ton of stuff that's really, really, really good. And it's this book here, so is How You Can Heal Your Life. And there's people with cancer who've been cured by cancer, almost every cancer known to man, just by changing the way you think, the way you, you know, you're feeling, what you're watching, key number one, what you're watching, like to, you know, watching funny, funny stuff. Let's, you know, comedy, movies, to comedians, surrounding your stuff with things that make you feel light and, and full of energy and fun. So anyway, I just wanted to share you a couple books. I do have some other powerful ones. I have not unpacked them all and I have to find them so I can share them with you. Anyway, I hope you're having a fantastic Friday. Enjoy your weekend and we will talk to you soon. Love ya. Bye.